Hiya! So, just a quick briefing to, for this mission today. I've done a little bit of work uh, between episodes. Let's just call it episodes. Not too much. Mostly just hand uh, refining some things and cleaning out the uh, uh, the constructors and uh, building up some uh, a little bit of resources. Not much. I haven't explored anything else in the in the area. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to greatly... Oh, I also built two more uh, miners. So today, we're going to greatly build out our uh, iron production, our iron uh, line production. So uh, screws, uh, rod, and sheets. Um, if we have time, we're also going to do the uh, copper production. We're not going to do much for the uh, concrete right now because... Who cares about concrete? We'd have to actually belt the. Um, we'd have to actually belt extra resources from over here around over here. We're not going to do that. Uh, there are resources up here, and uh, I think there's a bunch right here. Maybe I can't exactly remember. I have the nodes turned off just to, you know, add a little bit of mystery to the game. But I have I have planned out uh, how we're going to expand. Uh, the initial factory and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have one line spitting out sheets uh, one line spitting out uh, screws and one line spitting out um, rod and we're going to need that for our building list we already have the three miners and we have one smelter and we have two uh, constructors but we will need the rest to um, uh, just to build up this this one little plot. We're also going to have to move our hub from here to uh, probably like over here or something. Not too far away, but far enough to give us enough space to uh, expand these, these areas out. Um, these two are probably going to go straight out. This one, uh, you know, just build directly off of it here. Uh, this one we might have to turn this way or turn this way. I was originally going to dump all the lines onto, um, you know, uh, aggregate all the belts together, but uh, that's not going to happen because we are only using Mark I uh, belts at this point, and they can only han handle something like 60 a minute anyways. Uh, and these are outputting 60 a minute, so we are already at our maximum capacity uh, throughput for the belt. So that's... Um, that's not going to happen. We're not going to. Uh, we're not going to combine anything. Okay, let's uh, let's get into the game proper. And here we are. And let's just uh, choose our uh, list that we need. Oh, we also need to open up the um, the milestone that we wanted, which will be easy with all of the stuff that I've mined so far. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Thanks, Ada. So, let's move this first. Wrong button. And I think I'm just going to hit this. Hopefully... No. I thought it was going to give us a little box to put our stuff in, but it didn't do that. So let's move a fair clip away. Ooh, the graphics for that have changed. Um, okay, let me get on top of this. Ooh. Okay, let's just hide behind this. Get our Xeno Zapper out.
I thought we had a better... There. That wasn't very good. Uh, they've changed the graphics for that since the last time I played. That's pretty cool. Uh, hub. Put the hub right here. Why won't it sit on the ground? Who the hell knows? Why isn't it sitting on the ground? Oh, it is. It's just much lower up here. Okay, whatever. I don't really care. And we'll need another equipment bench. We'll move that. Come on. Right there. And we'll probably move the other bio burner at the same time because we want to keep those in together. I probably should have built this further out uh, to begin with because I knew that would be too close. But hope springs eternal. There. We've got our power linked back up. We're not going to turn it back on right now. What we are going to do is dump the garbage off that we accidentally picked up when we uh, dismantled the hub. Oh yeah, it's another power slug up there. I'm pretty sure we can destroy these um, stank thingies with explosives, but I can't uh, I can't fully remember if we can. Maybe. Uh, we'll also need to get some more biomass so that we can uh, fill that last uh, bio burner up. But we'll probably need two more bio burners, maybe, or three. I'm not 100% certain. But what we do need first is to get our uh, what we're going to build uh, sorted out here. So we'll need... 14 more of those. And we will need two, four, five of these. And got the miners already. Oh, uh, we will need a bunch of conveyors and stuff. We need 13 splitters and 9 mergers. Not sure why we need so many more one than the other. But we do. Probably because we have uh, such uh, crappy logistics. Um, and we're going to want... Hmm, it's going to be slow down once we get the... Uh, yeah, so the screws are going to be a nightmarish thing to um, combine back together. So let's go with two for now, and we'll ignore everybody else. And it looks like we might have everything we need. Oh, we need uh, 28 reinforced iron plate. That won't be too hard. Also, thanks to a comment by T. Becca, um, we were able to fire our entire workforce. We now no longer need Paperclip or Paperclip Jr. Um, everything has been fully automated with uh, Spacebar Industries uh, Spacebar Automation. So we, we no longer need to uh, um, even focus on the screen while... Uh, the automatic crafting is going on. Thanks for that tip. I actually didn't know you could do that with the space bar. I don't really watch very many uh, satisfactory videos. And there, space bar uh, automation incorporated is uh, functioning. That's a really stupid name. I gotta come up with another name. <laughs> okay, so everything is done is our yes we want to keep our power net, uh, network off for now here we are back at the miners and now we have to split them because our smelters can only handle 
um, a throughput of 30 at a time. So we're going to split them. That is... What the hell? I didn't know I could do what I was doing. What am I doing? Oh, I can switch between a merger and a splitter by pushing the E key. Is that down here? Quick switch. Oh, that's a nice uh, quality of life uh, thing that they put in there. I like that. That's That's super. Okay, so let's get this up really close right there. And we'll get over here to this one. And I know I'm being careful for nothing because all of these are going to be replaced very shortly in the future, but I would still like to have them uh, lined up and not aggravating my OCD, and this is not straight. No, it is straight enough. Uh, it's straight enough. It's straight enough. It's straight enough. Keep telling myself that until I believe it. Now, do I want to reposition this guy? I don't think so. Let's just kill these poles. There. Ooh, you're in an odd angle. You're gonna bug me if you stay that way. Okay. So now we have the basic splitter coming in. Um. Ooh. The screws are gonna be the biggest mess because they're gonna have a lot of different a lot of different uh, constructors and stuff going around. This one will probably be best for screws because uh, we'll have the most space over here. And I think this one we're going to stick with uh, this being our plate because there's not a lot of room on this one. So let's put down our smelters. Let's get up higher first. Now this is not going to be as perfect as I would like it. it's turning yellow because it can be it's it's inside another um building's um a hitbox a lot of hitbox but they're but the like the the white outline which is uh, the space that the that the building will take up but it's not like intersecting with uh part of the part of the building so it's it's um how should I wear this? It's inside... It's not inside the hitbox, so yellow is not inside the hitbox, but it's inside its, its um, building parameters, I guess. I read that. I read that they were adding that, but I hadn't actually uh, used it yet. So let's just line this up with right here. like that. And we'll redo this one. And I know I'm being obsessive, but this is what happens when you have uh, OCD. I don't want to call it a mental illness, because OCD really isn't a mess mental illness. Well, it can be, but I don't think that it's inherently a mental illness. Okay, this is not terrible, this setup. And we forgot to pick um, our... Uh, it's not, uh, I'm not gonna, not gonna bug, not gonna bug me. 
Not, it's not going to bug me. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just keep putting these down. It doesn't need to be perfect. This is temporary. Yeah, I saw that when the community manager was showing um, a preview of the things that they were going to do in the next update. And that was one of them. And one of the things that they did was they had... Uh, uh, they had stuff... Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can do it. I can just do it this way. Like, they had... Belts going in weird directions and being on top of the uh, the accelerator and things like that. And it was, it was pretty interesting. Okay, so... Let's quickly pop over to the hub. Because I forgot to, to pick the milestone, so we're going to do that. I don't really want any of the foundations right now. I'm probably going to... We're probably going to choose the MAM research because we're going to want to start really packing that away. Um, I would love to have the micromanage tool right now, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. Uh, we can hold off on copper sheep... Sheeps? Sheeps. Copper sheets and the assembler because... Um, we don't really have very much throughput, and we don't have uh, very much stockpiled. Jump pads are stupid. Um, and the awesome sink... Eh, maybe that'll be the, the, the next one. Like, we're gonna do the... Um, we're gonna do the uh, field research first. And then maybe we'll do the awesome sink. And then logistics third. Now, if we... If we really threw in with the with this logistics we could upgrade a lot of those belts and streamline um, the screws streamlining building screws so I might decide to transfer to this one next because screws are a pain in the face hole but for now let's choose field research let's just go on that for now and we'll we'll clean up the the rest of these ingots and things like that, um, and make more sheets because we can always use more sheets. And of course, we'll be implementing spacebar. Spacebar is our new friend. We were able to um, eliminate one job with it and optimize our uh, our production even further. And just remember, you don't need to pay robots. job. Actually, just to throw in a little bit of commentary on top of that, um, I remember not too long ago, like 10 or 15 years ago, um, they were talking about robots and computer automation and stuff like that was going to, it was on the, the, the brink of a breakthrough. And they kept talking about how it couldn't replace um, creative jobs like uh, um, art and writing and, and things like that. But it seems that that's the first thing it's coming for. It seems like, like I, I realize there's a lot of uh, debate on whether AI art is good or not. And I'm afraid I can't, I can't form an opinion on that because I don't know what good art is. Like I look at the Mona Lisa and I say, big deal. Uh, but then I can look at a, uh, a skyline in a video game and I'd say, oh, that looks pretty. So I don't really have much appreciation for the, for visual arts. So when I look at an AI generated, um, art piece, I think that's pretty cool. But then other people would like point out, well, this is stupid and this doesn't look good. And this is, is not as... Um, refined and and there's there's inconsistencies here and I don't know what they're talking about but I do know about the corporate world I know how those types of people think um, I know what they will consider a priority over other things so when you look at corporate art and the stuff that's that's hung on the walls just to break up the monotony in office buildings it's really low effort, really low paid junk. And if they can outsource that to 
an AI, a computer that's going to look visually pleasing, they're going to do that. And I mean, they're already stream, they're already optimizing that stuff. Like, if you are an artist in North America that gets a contract to, to paint, let's say, 60 corporate art installation pieces, uh, and you can't deliver on time, or you are charging too much, they're just going to outsource it to Indonesia or something. Like, your job is already worthless. And the, the, um, the people who are getting paid the big bucks in uh, North America and uh, Europe are not the little guys. They're not the, the people that are, you know, putting through the effort. I don't like this sitting here, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to stress out too much about that. So, see, aside from this rock, this has got more space to it, and I can stretch out a little more. But I have a feeling that's going to trap me. So this one, I think, is going to be our plate factory, because it's right in the middle. It's going to have the least throughput. Again, I don't like this rock here, but we are going to deal with it for now. This is going to be iron. And this is going to be iron. And this is going to be plate. And it's going to be outputting 20 per minute so we can combine the two. So we'll put a merger. Like that. Yeah, like that. Not too, too close. Maybe ooh, right there. And hopefully our... Yep, it can get around okay. I, we could have moved it in even, uh, even closer, but that's not a huge concern right now. And now we will put a storage container. right here and our plate construction is pretty much complete let's put a pole hey why you or should be even you dastardly villain yeah we'll just do it right here awesomeness so I am going to put this pole for the offloading, uh, let's say, right here, for now. We'll hook that up to that power line, and we'll hook that up to that power line over here. That's longer than I thought it could go. Now, let's get on top of this rock, because I would like to survey... Just one more time. I would go onto that rock and look down, but I know what's up there. There's a couple of bad guys up there, and I don't want to deal with them right right now. I think we shot ourselves in the face by not putting this over here. But I guess what I could do is I could split off the um, the ingots and then just clip through the uh, the rock and continue off that way and that will be good enough uh, to build the, uh, the the screw factory and then the um, the rod factory over here would be fine or I'll just put the rod factory over there and the screw factory here so let's check on our power grid which seems to be okay we might be able to put a, a few more uh, devices on there. But what we need right now is more biomaterial.
Now the thing is, is I don't want like, I'm not going to remove uh, that uh, vine over there because I do want to keep some, uh, or at least most of the uh, natural biome intact. I don't want to, I don't want to strip entire biomes down. I want it to keep it as, um, as untouched as possible. Is this Sam? Oh, there's Sambor. I didn't know they put a little node down here. Not like a node, but just like a... Some crap laying down. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. It does? Um, no one's told me. That must be one of the works in progress. It's sort of acting like that fish in uh, Subnautica. Where is it? Comply. Uh, no, and you're giving me chills. Stop. Okay, I can't find the bad guy, so let's just continue on over here. And now have at it, spacebar, um, automation, incorporated. Because remember, the future is automation. Okay, thanks to spacebar automation, uh, we now don't have to worry about fuel for a little while. We'll also put our SAM ore in here for now. Eh. Ooh, that was close to something happening. There. And we'll go back to our uh, rod factory. <laughs> rod. We will take a splitter. Which, for some reason, keeps changing direction on us. And we'll put this down just temporarily here. Why is that not lining up? Oh, because it's not square. Ah. Now we need to cram four constructors. Oh, can I get on top? Oh, let me get on top. Yes, you got on top. Now I need to cram four constructors in this area right here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take logistics, and I'm going to stick a merger right here, even though this is not really centered anymore, but we're close enough. And I'll go back to constructor. And this way, I can get the side of the constructor, like right here or something. That's close enough. It is going to bug me, but I have to be I have to learn to be content with what I got. Okay, let's get rid of these again. Where'd that come from? Oh, Jesus Christ, you stupid flea! Uh, actually, what I could have done, stupid me, very stupid me, is I'm going to take this splitter, and I'll turn it the right creeping way. hate the fact that it just arbitrarily changes itself like that. Or, no, it doesn't change itself, but it's in the opposite direction as most other of the tools. Okay. And then I'll get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get the hell on top of this. Buddy, there is no way you're eating grass from that high up. Okay, maybe I'm not going to get on top of it. Okay, I got on top of it. 
and I'll put a constructor right like that and then another constructor right like that then you connect to you you connect to you you're too far away but who cares and you like this there and rinse and repeat on the other side okay that's nicely lined up there now oh that's clipping well, it's not clipping. Okay. I can deal with that. We're going to put a merging belt. Uh, right in the middle like that. Merge you into you. And you into you. Like that. And then I guess we will be putting the last one through this rock. That's the right direction? Yes, it is. Now we will put a storage container at the end of this, which is again at a 90 degree angle to the inputs of the um, splitters, which is nuts for some. I just don't get it. There. Now we need to wire these poor bastards up. There. Now we can set the outputs of these things, which will be rod. More rod. Even more rod. And a stup stupendous amount of rod. Uh, dang it. Dang it. Okay, why isn't that lighting up? That's connected to that. Ah, this is not connected. There. Now let's check the power grid to make sure it's not flatlining. Ooh, we are very close to the... Oh, we're over capacity. Why, why isn't this shutting down if we're over capacity? Oh, because we're only drawing this much down here. Yeah. What has stopped producing? Probably uh, copper. I wouldn't think copper would stop. Oh, uh, we're already uh, done with the uh, uh, with the concrete, huh? And the copper up there must be loaded as well, but we'll ignore that for now. Wow, that really went up. We can be proud of that. Now we just make sure that the uh, the extractor is at 100% capacity. Which it is. And this guy's keeping up, so that's good. And I'm pretty sure all this is keeping up, too. It is. And it is. So, we are looking pretty. Now, for this over here, we're basically be copying the, um, the rod plant over there, but then will be merging into um, 
probably a manifold for uh, for the for the screw guys things. I speak good. Okay, we don't need to watch that. I'll be right back. Okay, there's our massive clusterfuck here. Uh, we need stairs. There we go. To get up here. And we see that uh, the center constructor for each one. Cause, so we have um, one extractor uh, that branches off into two smelters. That branches off into two um, constructors that branch off into three constructors. So this con center constructor gets the overflow from these two splitters uh, coming off of there. And then all of this will be uh, more or less balanced out. And unfortunately, the output for these things is pretty high. I have to choose screws for all of these. Uh, so it outputs 40 screws per minute. Um, and 60 is the highest that we can get these, uh, the, um, belts to. It took way long for, way too long for me to remember the word belt. And we still need to wire them all up, so let's do that before we do anything else. Lace-I. Now this will absolutely overload our grid. Because we are now connecting up all of the um, production lines. I think these are all chosen over here too. No, it's not. So uh, how do you go back? Look, recipe rod. Recipe. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, this is right. This is right. This is right. I'm dumb. There we go. Plate. Plate. These guys are ingots. There we go. And there's the overload that I expected. So, let's go build ourselves another bio burner. And we don't have enough for the bio burner. But now we can come back over here to you, and uh, we will probably move this out from here. And, like, put it over here in the same. Actually, let's do that right now. We'll go for organization, you. Stay sort of in line here. I'll let that drain. Uh, just make sure we have enough for the for power still. Yes, we do. Uh, how much more do we need? Ooh, quite a lot. We might need two. Okay, let's see if that did it. No, it didn't, but at least it's enough to keep us going for now. It is probably going to tap out very soon, because um, that's how much we need, that's how much we're generating, and our usage is coming up pretty quick. And there's a bunch of stuff over here that is not running yet, so it'll probably peak once it hits those things. Yep, there we go. Second bio burner. But now we need to go grab some more fuel. Uh, and we need the run a dun dun for that. And we need some fuel. 
So I'm just gonna grab fuel out of this guy. This guy. Like the things that are Star Trek Wrath of God. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find the cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. That sounds like a Jace line. Here we are, fully fueled. And just about everything. All of our lines are at full operation. The uh, copper still hasn't been done up yet. But if we go over here, everything else is all uh, nicely going. And it looks like we can have a stack of 500 per thing. So that'll be okay. Are these going full full tilt? Yes, they are, but it's it's just not keeping up. It's not a perfect split. Well, this one's already full, even, so uh, we can wait until it backs up, and then they'll um, they'll more readily process. But the center one is getting slightly more priority which it really shouldn't because the splitters should go five to five by five and five by five so it still should end up with ten coming through the center line but I guess it's coming up with slightly more I get I guess the center is going twelve per minute maybe that should be seven okay that, okay, no, I'm thinking about this wrong. So it's this is getting seven and a half per minute, and this is getting um, fourteen per minute right now until the line backs up. That's what's that's I'm not thinking about it properly, but I can't like properly balance that uh, that splitter off. So we are just not going to because the game won't let us until we get like smart splitters. Everything else seems to be fine. This is filling up quite nicely. And this is filling up quite nicely. And we can actually take this. There we go. And we'll use this to prime this line. There. That should be a little more better. And then I will put a container right here, but I won't I won't hook it up to anything. I'll just manually um right there. And we'll put it like right there. That should be far enough over. Now we do have a bit more time left, but I don't think we are going to get to the copper today. But we have some wire and some um, cable, which is good. And I think I've decided what our next. Uh, let's grab those. It's gonna. It's going to max out our grid. And it's going to shut everything down, but uh, let's just grab it here. There. Yep, there we go. Grid's dead. Oh, it's not dead. Oh, cool. I thought I heard it shut down, but it didn't. 
But we are going to go for the um, Mark II belts uh, because I would like to dump all of those um, screw manufacturers uh, into a bin just so we can we can grab them quickly. But we also likely have enough to do to finish off both tiers right now. Maybe. Oh, we need screws. Here we go. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Did they upgrade the clouds? Because that looks... The map has been unlocked. Because I don't remember the clouds being volu volu volumetric before. Volumetric. There we go. So, uh, uh, I realize I did select the wrong one. I was going to do this one first. Uh, but whatever. And we'll need 50 sheets. Or 50 uh, reinforced sheets. And we don't have them all, but we got some. Go back over here. On here. Oh, I can't even put them in? Ah, I have to wait the full minute. So let's go grab some more uh, iron sheets. We'll also build a temporary MAM. I would also prefer, I would have also preferred if they had the MAM inside the base because they have the workbench here and then you can make an extra workbench and, and if they had the ma'am in you keep making me think something's happening when you come back down there uh, so they have the extra they have the workbench here crafting bench, and then you can make a separate crafting bench. So if this MAM was also in here where it used to be, it used to be right here. So if it was still right there, I think I would... And then you can build one, like, additional. I think I would like that more, but I guess this is the way it's going to be. Okay. Oh, we can give some of these, can't we? Yeah, we can fill up some of those. So first... Let's give this stuff. Okay. Now what we can also do is we can just um, add material to the other uh, milestones and they'll stay there. No, we're not doing that. So we can, like, uh, preload these guys. Need to grab more stuff. Okay, so we just need, uh, 36 more, um, reinforced iron sheets. Then I guess we can send something off while we're waiting. Hmm. I don't remember this. Uh, so we can't send the one that we want to send off. So let's send off... The micromanager. And we'll finish off the sheets. There we go. And we'll put away these guys because they're filling up our inventory. And let's take all of our special stuff and see what we can get, we can open up in the map. 
Oh, we can do power slugs. Uh, so let's do that. Start research. Done. New recipe unlocked. You're New not going to tell me what's available in the MAM. You're not going to tell me what it is? Fine then, don't tell me what it is. Um, okay, we got another blue one. Scannable object. Oh, I need to put stuff in there. Let's not do that yet. We will um, do the juice berry thing. New object added to the object scanner. No detail, huh? Oh, and we will unlock Logistic 2. And where is that? That's this guy. Launch. Bye, thingy. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Uh, we don't have any bacon algae, but we do have nuts. And we do have some organs. I don't think we have anything for stinger. We don't have any stingers, though. I think that's everything that we got. So I need alien protein. This is new. Yeah, this is new. Okay, does that mean I just needed one of those? And I don't need to research the rest? Or, yeah, I guess I need, just needed to do one of them. That needs all of them. I think I can do a power shard. And we'll do this protein up. Wonder what this does. Can I eat this? Ground down alien remains in a neat little package used for medical purposes. I see. Okay, so it just adds a step. I can make a shard, can't I? It says one. No, I can't. I can't see one. Yeah, that just might be a bug. Oh, okay, no, sorry. That's because of the color of the of the thing that I have. Okay, so let's open up some more stuff. Oh, I guess I can't. I need it and... Uh, oh, I can. Okay. There it is. Cool. Uh, uh, 
Um, um. Oh, we can increase the pocket dimension like right now. And now we can overclock our thingamabobbers. Ooh, there's there's no voiceover lines for some of this stuff. Cool. Now I thought um, alien. Ooh, there we go. I thought alien stuff could also be turned into biomass. Oh, yes, it can. Cool. But I'm probably going to need it more for health. So we're going to hold it over for health. Oh, Jesus, needs 1,000. Ah, oh, we don't have that. Okay. Cool. Now we can open up the next thing, uh, which is the resource sink. What's this? A customizer. Oh, that must change colors and things. Oh, well, this is the one we're choosing. And we're going to launch it right away because we already have all of our stuff shoved Milestone in there. Reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Jesus. Yay! Okay, signs. Those are new. I didn't see those before. Uh, I also I also haven't played since lights were uh, installed. I don't know what either of those two do. And we're going to be opening up probably all of this stuff because we want everything to customize everything. Uh, we also want the cart. Hey, the boom box is new. Uh, does this actually... Do these actually play something? Uh, you forgot the LE at the end. And then a coffee cup. And I can buy parts, but... I never buy parts because you don't really need to buy parts. So, other stuff is going to fall down, or we're going to be able to unlock everything else on this tier. I'm not unlocking the jump pad. Screw the jump pad. I don't even have enough to do the jump pad right now. There. So, I am just going to finish off opening up all of the rest of the... I thought he was stuck for a second there. See, I'm moving exactly as fast as he is, so the parallax kind of goes a little wonky. But I'm going to open up these last two, um, these last two milestones that I've that I've already paid for uh, before the uh, brief. So I'll see you in the debrief. Spacebar Automated Incorporated Automation Unit is beavering away in the background, even though it's not even in focus. That uh, bastard paperclip stole from us for years with his so-called um, expert labor. Uh, but looking at our uh, little starter factory here, which uh, looks nicely lined up in the uh, in the map viewer. I, I like that. That uh, that soothes my 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 uh, OCD soul. 
But we got actually quite a bit done uh, this session. We've we got a screw line here, and uh, I have two little mergers to bring in um, uh, from the uh, uh, from the constructors, and one is going to hold. Uh, one is going to be hooked up to a um, a storage container, and then the other one is probably going to link up with uh, the um, iron sheets here to make um, reinforced iron sheets somewhere over here. Um, I've been thinking about it, and I do believe that there is a few more um, limestone deposits. There's one here for certain. I think there's definitely one here. Um, and there may be one over here or somewhere. And I might just bring them together so that we can start producing more um, concrete, because we're going to need lots of concrete in the future. Uh, next time, we're probably going to... Not probably, we will. We will expand the copper line. I might ex expand that between... Um, sessions um, and then we're going to choose what we're going to do with the space elevator whether or not we're going to build a temporary space elevator down here somewhere which seems non-realistic it's a, a a space elevator seems like a permanent piece of infrastructure that someone is that a, a corporation is not going to build and tear down and then build again so if I decide to have a more permanent um, space elevator, if I want to put the space elevator down permanently, what then I will have to decide to do is trek up in here in the black part um, to discover it and then put down some uh, foundations and then put the space elevator down permanently and then just carry whatever we're going to send up over there. Because it seems kind of ridiculous to, to build the space elevator and then tear it down. I realize there's not a whole lot of resources in-game to do that with. But I guess because the space elevator links up with a uh, space station, or it should link up with a space station, like 36,000 kilometers away from the planet of the surface, depending on what the gravity is on, on, the, on the planet, the end of the tether won't actually weigh anything. Like, the, the whole unit will weigh something, but as it's near the ground, hovering near the ground, it doesn't need to be kept floating in the air um, because the weight of the cable being pulled down by the planet will be... Um, offset by the weight of the space station and the cable um, in orbit. So you got a geosynchronous geosync orbit and they'll be balanced out and um, there'll be no pressure on the tie downs on the planet or at least very little pressure. So it wouldn't be complex to walk the tether over, quote unquote, walk the tether over. So maybe that'll be my justification. So yeah, 